Greeley down the alleyway, plays it behind the goal, right in front, shot, saved by Wickham as he denies Brandon Ben. Stanwick, yes, a member of the famed Stanwick family, to Palmer behind the goal. Palmer tries to get it up top, deflected by Kiernan. He and Christopher go for the ground ball. Peter Rogers comes up with it. He starts to clear for the midshipmen. So Pat Poland played by Vernon behind the goal. Beautiful stick check by Austin Miller. Ball down on the ground as he stripped Palmer. Kiernan comes out of there with the ball in his stick. He goes down. Yeah, supposedly, yeah. Ball still being fought for just outside the box. Miller overruns it. Kiernan comes back in, plays it back to R.J. Wickham. Kiernan takes a late hit there right in front of the official. Guida, the sophomore out of Chatham, New Jersey, bounces the pass for Rannigan. Turnover picked up by the mids. Ian, or check it, Ben Sampson. Beautiful roll dodge move to get away from roll dodging behind the goal. Did he really? Tucker been playing with some abdominal issues. On the doorstep, Durkin is wide open. They caught Bassett behind the goal. Not really sure what Pierce Bassett was trying to do there. Durkin standing all by himself in front of the crease, and he throws it into a wide open goal, and it's 7-52. Navy has the lead. One to nothing. That one off earlier. Good cycle here by the Blue Jays. On the doorstep, Wickham turns the shot aside. That time from Wells Stanwick. He was right on the crease. And Wickham made the save right on the doorstep as he runs around with the ball to Jay Christopher now with 35 seconds left. Cross field pass for Crumley. He's under pressure on the ride. Plays it ahead. And the mids will look to clear it out with gain. Davis, top of the box, gets it over to Jones, tries to duck inside of his man. On the doorstep, cutting in Reynolds. He shoots and scores. Sam Jones to the senior co-captain Taylor Reynolds at 526. It's Navy 2. Johns Hopkins nothing. Rannigan who blows by him. Cross box pass. Greeley fires a shot right into the breadbasket of Wickham. Rebound picked up. They're going to call Palmer in the crease. It, no, it's a delayed call because the mids got possession. Scott Smith held the hand up to see who was going to get possession first. And Kiernan gobbled up the ground ball for the mids and starts to clear through Wickham. He's cutting right down the middle. Had the defenseman, Chris Leitner, right on his back there. And the Blue Jays start to bring it out. Checked away by Taylor Reynolds on the poke as he got it away from Nicky Schuler. Hopkins out shooting, Navy 5-4. Davis gets away, shoots, and scores. Nick Davis with a great face dodge to get rid of his man. He comes up with a left-handed shot and gets it inside the far post. And with 19.7 seconds to go in the opening quarter. The Navy midshipmen lead it by a count of three to nothing. At the end of a very interesting first quarter is over here for the Navy midshipmen. Goals by Pat Durkin, Taylor Reynolds, and Nick Davis have Navy a three nothing lead after one here at Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. We're back with and forces him wide. Coppersmith looking for a pass. Goes backside. Ball picked up on the bounce by Rannigan at the buzzer. He shoots it wide. And the mids will sprint to the locker room with a 3-1 lead here against the Blue Jays of Johns Hopkins. Blow the goal line. Stanwick, nice pass. Shot right down the middle from Boland and a save by Wickham. Boland slipped a little bit as he went to shoot that. Got up a little bit slowly and is going to come off for Hopkins. But Wickham up to the task and again, 15 yards straight away. That's a save Wickham's going to make when he sees it every time. Palmer goes backside to Ben. Shot, save Wickham. Oh, my. Point blank range. Ben had him at his mercy, and Wickham denies. The senior playing in his last game, perhaps playing the game of his life here this afternoon. He's made a couple of those dandy saves like that on the doorstep today. A Jones screen. Vumar, here comes the slide from Durkin on a double. Plays it to Jones. Jones is open. Dodges from behind. The goal! Shoots and scores! Nobody home. Backside for Hopkins. Durkin slid to the far side. 
Jones got the ball. Nobody around the backside in the wraparound. 16th goal of the season. Gabe Vumard alertly found him open on the slide. Took advantage of it. And the mids have a three-goal lead. Ball loose on the ground. Kiernan has the ground ball for Navy and a win of the faceoff. But his pass back to Vernon is on the ground. He'll scoop it for Wickham who makes himself available. RJ face dodging underneath the bend. Gives it up to Vernon up the right side for the midshipman. He made a beautiful cut to the goal but shot it over top. Hofstad from back to front. Tough angle shot and Eric scores. How did he stuff that one in there under the crossbar? With two defenders draped all over him. Eric Hofstad at 724. Can't get a shot away. Coppersmith in tight. Shoots. Wickham saved. The rock wall. Big hit as the ground ball fought for. Kiernan gets it for Navy in traffic and plays it back to Vernum. Hayward trying to stone Guida. Pass behind Bolin. Picked up by Nick Davis. Great man defense by Alex Hayward there. For the mids, he causes the bad pass. And a turnover as Davis carries in for Navy. Hofstad's pass deflected, but it comes to Durkin. Durkin down the left alleyway. Comes in tight. Tough angle. Shot. Shoots. Scores. Pat Durkin went lefty, and then as he got right on top of the crease, he went righty. I think Bassett was expecting a left-handed shot. Durkin with some nifty stick maneuvering there. And he tucked it just underneath of the crossbar over the left shoulder of Pierce Bassett, and at 259, it's Navy 6. Johns Hopkins 1. Right alley to the goal. Guida trying to get inside of Norris. Fires a shot. Turn aside Wickham. Ground ball, Austin Miller. Navy on the clear. Miller sprinting up field. Now into open space and plays it back to R.J. Wickham. Around a Jones screen. Good slide there by Leitner to cut him off. Jones against Riley behind the goal. Hopkins applying double team pressure. Jones wrapped from behind. Open goal! And Sam Jones scores again. Sam Jones is 17th of the season into an open cage. It was played by Crumley. Do you have Phil's number or are you just going to go talk? I can text him. Uh, Pass to Ben behind him off his stick. Alex Hayward picks up the ground ball for Navy. Hayward speeds up the left side of the field. Back to a right-hand shot. Now back to a left-hand shot. Fires it. It's deflected in route. And Wickham has the loose ball. Fakes the long outlet. Goes short route to Vernon. Hopkins matches up and now goes to double-team the ball. Jones swims past one. He's off balance. One-hand shot. Into the goal! He shoots and scores! Sudden Sam does it again. Six minutes to go. It's Navy 8. Johns Hopkins 1. Great win for a great bunch of kids who had literally nothing to play for in terms of stakes. But they will beat the number six team in the country here today, the Johns Hopkins Blue Jays, by a count of eight to two this afternoon, and the Mids storm the field here at Navy Marine Corps Memorial Stadium. After losing 36 consecutive games in this rivalry, the Mids have now won two of the last three and two straight here in Annapolis in stunning fashion here today. Final score in Annapolis. The Navy Midshipmen eight and the Johns Hopkins Blue Jays two. And just like after a big football victory, the brigade gets an uncharged overnight because of the lacrosse team's victory here today from the commandant of midshipmen. Final score here in Annapolis, Navy 8, Johns Hopkins 2. We're back after this network timeout on the Navy Radio Network.